Hey everybody, today's midweek tech is on Spell Scoia'tael. Spell Scoia'tael scares and frustrates a lot of players because it feels either impossible to win or just frustrating to win. However, if you know how to beat them, the games, it becomes so much simpler and it just becomes routine, really. The first step is to play a bunch of gold cards. If you're playing Calve, that's really easy because you use the leader ability, pull a gold card, and sometimes you pull uh, Kahir and then pull a second gold card, just ridiculous tempo plays like that. You just tempo out a bunch of gold cards and a pass. The problem is, is that for Spell Squatel, they have to do multiple cards just to remove your gold cards from the board. They don't have enough points in the very beginning of a match to overcome the tempo from playing a bunch of gold cards, usually. Even with Saskia, it's, it's generally not enough. So once you've done that and pass, they either go try to win the round, which will cost them card advantage, or they, uh, you know, give up the round and you won. You won a round. Good for you. The second round, if they have forfeited the first round, is you just pass. If they spent a bunch of card advantage trying to win the round, they'll usually just pass and you'll play a card. That way they don't get lose card advantage. Or they might play Siri and uh, Yaven to try to regain that card advantage they lost trying to win round one. Now if they do that, that makes it a little harder to win and makes the game a little bit closer to a 50-50. Now you move on to round three. Assuming that you have at least one card advantage, all you have to do is save a Scorch. Another thing you could do is you can play a Rot Tosser, kill off the card after they play it, and then play a Peter if you're a uh, Nilfgaard. Scorch is the popular go-to card for teching against Spell Scoitel for other factions if you're not Nilfgaard, though. Uh, Regis Higher Vampire is my favorite because it just you remove... If you have Renew in your deck, you can play Regis twice and just get rid of two of the Dothlana Protectors. Then all you have to do deal with is one. Uh, Northern Realms has cards that reset the strength of cards. So you can, uh, with through Margarita, and that gives you a, th a third option. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys a game of me using this strategy. Play a lot of gold cards. Uh, then you do the second round with you either pass or deal with whatever's them passing quite quickly. And then in the third round, you save your answer to the Dothbana Protectors until the very, very end. And then you win. In Broccolon. I forgive you. I hate you. This time. so much. I kneel before no one. Humans have no place in Broccolon. Let's get this over with. Oh no! I shall not repeat Amir's mistakes. As you wish. Yield and save me some time!
It should be 10 strength, it's just not showing up properly. I don't have a Scorch in this deck, do I? about it properly. The Vico Varo novices are the worst though. Dole! Blasana! That's one less from his deck. Curious case. Dole! Blasana! Yes. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. Well, I win. That was actually rather impressive. Congratulations. Dole! Blasana! <laughs> well, he loses. Sorry instead. to say, but you lose, sir. I could win this match with just one strength. 
What do I want to do? I have so much card advantage, it's crazy. He knows I have Peter in my hand, so he's not going to be surprised by what happens The Nordling's next. hatred for us will never wane. Boom. Win. <laughs> Take that. Beastie. Take that, beastie. They give him a good game. My rank went up, went back up. <laughs> oh, that was good. Stop recording.